All right, so in the last tutorial, I got to the point where I had actually added a file to a conversation, and it appeared here in Files. And so now we're in the Files panel, and I wanted to talk a little bit more about this. So the first thing I want to do is show you what options you actually have here. So you can obviously go and open any of the files you have. So I can view this Smart Bar teaser that I have that was used previously. Close that up. I can even upload, which should be pretty self-explanatory, so I can upload something from my desktop if I want to. I can get a link. Um, I can go to Microsoft Teams. I can go to SharePoint. And essentially what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to select files and then get a link for those files. I'll talk a little bit more about what you can do once you've actively selected a file. You can open something in SharePoint so you can see where it's located or you can even do new. Now new has a couple of really cool options. I can create a brand new folder so maybe I want to do finalized documents for a folder and I'm gonna actually move Smart Bar Teaser into that finalized documents. So I'm gonna put it there because it's finalized. We don't need to do anything else with it. I moved it in there but maybe I want to have another folder called drafts and this is where we have working documents that we're working on so in drafts I can create a brand new word document and so this new word document is going to be called talking points so it looks like Chrome here blocked a uh, pop-up from this so I'm gonna say always allow done Okay, so I can open up this if I want to right here and I can choose to edit this in Word if I want to. There we go. And I can choose how I want to. I can do edit online if I want to. And I, this will open up my Outlook. So it's going to verify that I'm logged in. And then I can literally jump into this file right here. And simultaneously, because I'm doing this in Teams, Canvas Facts, who is also in this group and in this channel, is going to be able to jump into drafts. And he is also going to be able to edit this directly in Word Online. So I'm going to go ahead and just start by typing title. There we go. Canvas Facts is currently logging in. And once Canvas Facts is in here online, we're going to see Canvas Facts kind of jump in. There, there's Canvas Facts. So Canvas Facts might jump in and say, for talking points, let's say that the first talking point is going to be about Canvas. And this is going to be what if grades. And so we can both be editing this file in real time online and have it saved directly into Teams. So once we're kind of happy with what's going on, I can close this. Canvas Facts is going to also close this and jump back into Teams. And then we can go right back here. When we go into Drafts, this has been edited, modified, all that good stuff. So now I want to talk just a little bit about what happens when you select a file and what options you then have. So if I select this file, I now have the options to open it. I can get a link to that file. I'm going to talk a little bit here in a second about make this a tab. I can download it, delete it, and then I've got additional options here. I can move it, I can copy it, I can rename it, and I can open it in SharePoint. So pretty standard if you've been using OneDrive, nothing new really, which is great. 